Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of Making Interstellar Redux. Uh, today we have a very big game against Feyenoord in the um, in the league, the Eredivisie, I think that's pronounced correctly. But before then, we have a few games to um, cover since the 40 victory over here in Wien, um, and a league table to look at. So let's just show you what's happened since, and I think you'll be quite surprised. Um, these are the games I've been in charge for. We've won every single game unbelievable form from us. Um, as you know, we won 4-2 against here in Wien. Then we beat Uch FC Utrecht 4-0. Leder getting a goal, Bolatti getting a goal, and um, Luke, I'm not going to pronounce his surname anymore, I'm just going to call him Luke, getting two. Um, we then played VVV and beat them 3-1. Pabon, Luke, and Atal getting the goals. Um, we then beat Roda JC 2-0. Veltman and Luke again getting a goal. You may see, see a name here a lot. Yeah, it's Luke's. Um, they then beat Go Ahead Eagles, who were above us at the time in the league, 6-1. <laughs> Luke with a hat-trick, Bratty with a goal, Kishner with a goal, and Van Persie with his first goal for the club. And Luke actually missed a penalty in that one as well, so he could have had four goals and we could have had seven. But that wasn't to be. And in the last game, we just beat um, NEC 4-2 with Luke getting two, Pabon getting a goal, and Kishner getting a goal. Now, let's take a look at Luke very quickly. He's played six games and he scored 11 goals. That's almost two goals a game. He has been an incredible signing so far. When I signed this bloke, I had no idea he was going to get off to this kind of start for us. And I'm just so pleased he has, because it's helped us in the league. Fired us. When I took over, we were, we were in ninth, and he has fired us to third. And all of a sudden, we're in the run-ins for automatic qualification for Europe. Um, for and, even if we, and if we win today, we're going to be in the battle for second spot. The league is beyond us. I think we can both all agree on that. The league is beyond us. It'll take a massive collapse from PS3. But second isn't out of reach just yet. I'm hopeful. We've won six on the trot. We've, we're playing great football. Oh, I'm very, very hopeful. So let's get into this. We're going to keep the same lineup I've kept in every game so far, other than when there's been a forced change. And there he is. I'm actually going to nickname him just because I can't, that surname annoys me. So we'll go Luke. There it is. And now obviously his shirt name will change to Luke. I just can't pronounce his surname, so I'm just going to call him by his first name. And the only thing is seeing his surname confuses me. So, <laughs> you know. But let's get this going. Biggest game so far. Hardest team we've faced so far. Uh, I don't know their team. The only player I know from there is Vermeer and Congola, I think. He used to play for... Oh, he's played for Fona the whole time, but I recognise the name. But that's the only two sort of players I recognise. But let's get into this. We applied the advice to tell him to pick up where we left off. Oh no, we can do revenge against him. They love revenge. Let's do this. And as you can see, I'm donning the Ajax shirt today. I dug it out for, well, seeing as I'm managing Ajax and I've got an Ajax shirt, I may as well wear the shirt for most of the games. Um, I'll be interested to see how we do against a good team. A lot of no friends to the teams we play, but they're not the teams we're going to be competing with for the title next season. Feyenoord and PSV will be. But it's an early stage and we've got them like, pinned back here. I expect them to clear it though. Yeah, they've played the way out of treble well. Um, the series on the ball and Stankovic does well there. But that was a, that was a warning to us. Congolo heads it wide. Okay, well, I'm going to give us time to grow into the game. I'm not going to make any changes. We'll, we'll, we're a good enough team to create chances in this match, and I believe we will do so. As you can see, we're starting to turn the screen now in terms of the stats. We just haven't seen a highlight yet, which is typical because every game I've played offline or off camera, we've been dominating. We've seen lots of highlights. And we've got a penalty, though, and that gives Luke a chance to add to his goal tally. Um, but, as I said, we've had so many exciting games, and then we've got this one, which, is seen, which has been pretty dull up till now. But hopefully we can go 1-0 up here. Come on, Luke. Yes, keeper goes the right way, but we still get that goal. 44 minute, and we're one nil up, and that puts. And if it finishes like this, we'll be four points behind Feyenoord. Well, there's 18 teams in the division. That's 36 games, 34 games with 10 games to go. So we've got a few games left yet. But all of a sudden, there's two highlights, one after another. We better not concede straight away because I'll be livid. But Anderson does well. Van Rijn, well done, Stankovic. Launch it long. Luke doesn't win the ball though. Sherman to Anton. Peralta. Stankovic saves. That was fortunate. 
Okay, but so far, so good. I mean, we haven't been great, but we've got, we're ahead, and that's the important thing. So I'm going to tell them they can improve, and I'm going to do passionately. There's a lot more. I think the language barrier is causing a bit of an issue here with the teen talks. The sooner I learn fluent Dutch, the better. But yeah, this form we've been in has been extraordinary. It gives me hope for next season. Obviously, a lot of these players will be leaving because they're not Dutch. Um, but I'm hopeful for this season's Europa League, you know. We've got Benfica. I didn't see a lot from them in the Champions League final to say that they were actually that decent a team. Um, so I'm, if we can get past them, you never know your luck. We may well be able to, um, you know, squeeze on through and see if we can actually win the Europa League, maybe. That would be a lovely start to the city, start to Ajax to our, our tenure at Ajax but well, let's not get ahead of ourselves we'll see how we'll, we'll take each game as it comes and we'll see how we go um, Peralta has been injured I don't know any of their players so I can't really judge whether they're bringing in a danger man or not um, this guy here Thompson isn't playing great and he's booked again so we're going to be on Vandenbeek I can't really risk a red card in a game of this magnitude and obviously Kishner's tired as well, so he's going to have to come off now for Attar. He's been he's done all right for me the Israeli. He will be leaving obviously because he's from Israel, not um, not Holland. But. Funny, this has been a very very dull game, and all of a sudden it's just disappeared on me. And I'm I didn't quite realise it how late it was in the game. I brought Van Persie on just to give him an appearance, and that was probably one of the quickest games of Football Manager I've had in a long time. Um, really, really uneventful but we got the win and I think that counts as a rival Feyenoord we'll wait and see um, but we won 1-0 a penalty from Luke and that was enough to get us the win I'm, I'm a little bit underwhelmed by that I feel like I've cheated you guys out of like five minutes of your life um, yeah Feyenoord are arch rivals um, but yeah seven games won in a row if we look at the um, Table. Luke is actually top goal scorer now. 19 goals. Obviously, uh, 12 of those are for us, so 7 of those for FC20. But all of a sudden, we're right up there in the mix for second spot. And you never know if PSV start playing poorly. We might be up there with a chance of the title, but I'm not holding my breath on that. So, as I said before, next episode will be the second leg against Benfica at home. So, we'll be welcoming Benfica to the Amsterdam Arena. And we'll take it from there. So as always, lads, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button. I'm sorry it's a little bit dull. Um, as you can see, all the other games were not that dull. So I, put, I, do, I couldn't expect that. But and if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. Um, we'll be with Ajax for a couple of seasons while we're building the team and getting them to a stage where we can win it with only Dutch players. And then, you know, I hope you can join me on this journey. So as always, lads, I hope you enjoyed watching. And I will catch you all next time. Ta-ra.